So one more example with tutorial so you can practice before you do your assignment. Here, we want to find the length here of this right triangle. And we're given this angle and we're given this side. So step one, we need to identify each side of the right triangle so we can start figuring out which trick function to use. So I start labeling. The side across my angle is my opposite side. The side across my on my right angle is my hypotenuse. And the side next to my angle is the adjacent. Now I need to look at which two sides I'm going to be using for this problem. Alright, so which two sides do I have? I have the adjacent side and I want to look for the hypotenuse. So I need to work with a trick function that relates these two. So if you look at my options, the strict function I'm going to be using is cosine adjacent hypotenuse. So that implies that cosine is the function I'm going to be using. And I already know my angle of my triangle, all right? So I'm given the angle already. My cosine of 56 degrees is equals to my adjacent side, which is 11.3 divided by my hypotenuse, which I don't know. So I know the next value I need to find. All right, so I need to solve for x. And notice that my x value is on the denominator, so I have to be careful how I solve it. So first, I need to get rid of my x down there, so I'm going to multiply times x, all right? x divided by x answers out. But whatever I do to one side, I do it to the side. So now I have my x here. So x times cosine of 56, let's use x times cosine of 56 degree equals to 11.3 but I need my x value by itself so I can find it so I need to get rid of my cosine of 56 degrees all right so I don't use the cosine number because then I will be get rid of the cosine but my 56 will be there so I have to be careful so what I do I divide my cosine of 56 degrees so that cancels with that so I have my x value and I also need to do the same thing on both sides so I I will divide by cosine of 56 degrees on this side. So my x is equals to 11.3 divided by cosine of 56 degrees. So in order to find my x value, I just need to plug in that into my calculator. And again, keep in mind, I'm not using my cosine inverse because I'm not looking for an angle. I'm looking for a sine. So I just need to type it as it is there. So let me get my calculator and let me do the operation. 11.3 divided by cosine of 56 that's equals to 20.21 so the missing sign here for my hypotenuse is 20.21 so I found the missing sign here all right and that's how you use strict functions to find the missing sign of a right triangle when you have sorry when you are given a sign of it and one of the angles Alright, so hopefully this is going to help to start working with these problems.